Hi, I'm Molly with Molly Q Creates and StarryNightCreations.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a card similar to this. We're going to do a little bit different color scheme in the background, but I'm going to show you how to get this effect. So we are using the Floral Silhouette stamp set, the Circle Spotlight stencils, and you, it's a two-piece stencil set. You get both the negative and the positive, and the dot-to-dot -dot stencil set. Those are all from LDRS Creative and from Catherine Pooler. We have the With Love dye, the Shea Butter Orange Peel Pink Champagne and Rouge inks. Those are all from the Spa Collection. And with Hero Arts, we have the Onyx and the Unicorn Pigment inks. So I'm going to slide this aside so we can get started. Okay, so I have my card base. Top folding, five and a half by four and a quarter and then I cut a black mat to five and a quarter by by four and then a smaller white piece which is going to be our card base and that is cut to three and three quarters by five. So we're going to start with that base. I'm going to take a few pieces of post-it tape, put them on the back of the card, back of the card base. Then I'm going to take the LDRF stencil and you probably won't be able to see this, but there are lines engraved in here so that you can position the paper. I want the circle to be closer to the top than in the center. So I'm going to align it with the bottom and center it with those corner marks. So. All right, I've got that taped down. And then this is the waffle flower mat. And it's a silicone mat, so it does grip to the surface. It also does a good job of holding the paper and stencil in place to help you keep it in place while you're working. Okay, so we're going to start off at the bottom part of the circle with the shea butter ink. And when I start shading, you just want a light touch and you want to start on the stencil. Just a real light touch, tap a little bit of it off. And they like to call it the tapping. Okay. Now let's add in orange peel. And just tap, start off to the side. And just go in light circular motion. And add back in some shea butter. Blend over the orange to get those two blended together. Get a little bit more orange in there. Just do a little bit more. And with the ink blending, you're just kind of going over the colors, get them blended until you're happy with the look. So now let's add in the pink champagne. And just tapping. And just making some round circular motions with the, the brush. And 
go back with the orange peel. Get that blended a little bit more with this is pink champagne and then let's move that down and make room for the rouge Now this one can tell is a much darker color. And you can go back over your stencil to pick up the ink that's on the stencil instead of always tapping the ink pad and taking it from the ink pad. And over it with the pink champagne. And then I think I'm going to go back with a little bit more of the yellow, the shea butter. So with ink blending, it really is just kind of going back over the colors. Sometimes you want a little bit heavier hand, sometimes just a lighter hand, but you do just want to keep tapping, you know, the ink off to the side. And now with the orange peel, let's get a little bit more of that. All right, so now that I'm happy with the shading, okay, so now we have the base. I'm going to reveal. Look at how pretty that is. Now I want to do some embossing, but first we need to have this dry. So I'm going to um, heat set it quick and be right back. Okay. I don't need it perfectly dry for this, um, for the embossing part of it. So let's put the tape back on it. But since I have this off, I am going to clean off the stencil with a baby wipe. And I don't want to get it all over my mat. Although these mats do just wipe off with water. And I'll run this under soap and water in just a little bit, but just to get some of that off for now. All right, so let's position. All right, so now that we've got that, let's lay down the dot to dot stencil. And it's just a random pattern, so it's however you like it to line up. I am going to, since I have stencil on stencil and not a whole lot touching the mat, I am going to uh, secure this down a little bit better. And take these together. And this post-it tape is just a low-tack adhesive tape. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Unicorn Pigment Ink from Hero Hues and my brush. Actually, I'm not going to use the brush for this one. I take that back. I'm going to use the foam dauber. 
So I'll put that in there. Pull the stencil down. And dab it. So with the brushes, I like the brushes because then that's nice for uh, blending the inks together. But when working with stencils, I like the foam daubers. And this mini blending foam with by Tim Holtz is really nice because you don't get your hands dirty. And I'm just going to go over this several times. Make sure I get in each of the, uh, the dots. Doing that a little bit more. Okay. That should be good. Now I'm going to keep the spotlight stencil on, but I'm going to gently peel off the dot to dot stencil and set that aside. So now you can see it has that fun dot to dot pattern on it in white. I'm going to get out the misty. And I'm positioning, I'm taking the stencil with the paper attached and putting the whole thing in the misty. And now what I want to do is, so I put it down with the magnet and I'm taking out my stamp set. Let's see how I want to position. I'm gonna take three stamps. So I'm gonna put the magnet on top because I'm going to stamp off I'm not exactly sure how I'm positioning everything yet. And I could do it in a couple stamps too, and I could just do the one. Maybe I'll just do the big one. Okay. Let's do that one. It's a little bit smaller. And then add in these two on the side, but make that the... And it's okay if these are all going off of the edge. Okay, so I'm going to position them like that. That one I want kind of coming off. Same thing there. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up the stamps with the misty, being careful not to move everything. Reposition that. Now this is the beauty of the, the misty is that I can do all three stamps at once. And because now I'm going through a couple layers and have to get through the, uh, the stencil layer, probably have to stamp it a couple times. So this is the black onyx ink from Hero Hughes. So I'm going to ink that up good. Close the lid and I have my stamp pendable from LDRS to rub over to get a good impression. And let's do that one more time. There. 
that's good. So now we can take this off and set this aside without closing it so I don't get the ink all over everything. Take my scratch piece of paper, slowly peel this off. I knew I'd get my finger in there. All right, so now we have inky fingers. Excuse me while I wipe that off. Okay, so now I'm going to carefully peel off the tape from the back. And I'm going to emboss this. So the white should still be wet. Then we have the black that's wet. And there might even be some from the background if I didn't dry it all the way. Put the embossing powder back in there. Now I'm going to turn the volume down so you don't have to hear me embossing. Not fun. You get the shiny look of the, the flowers and the dots. All right, so let's finish off this card. So I had the With Love stamp, or not stamp, but die from Catherine Pooler. So I've cut out already, I cut With Love out three times. So I'm going to take a liquid glue. and glue them on top of each other, just directly on top of each other. It's a nice way of adding a little depth for your, with your sentiments. Another fun thing is when you're cutting them, cut the layers in different colors, and then you add a little bit of surprise when, from the side. You don't really see all of the colors, but it adds a fun little depth and surprise to the card. So for this one, because the flowers are done as silhouettes in black, I just did the sentiment in black. And again, there's no fancy offset or anything. It's just straight up stacking them on top of each other. And you don't need much glue. You can see I got enough there, more than enough. So I'm just gonna spread that around. Let's get this one put together so we can let that dry for a few minutes. Got those tangled up somehow. Then I'm 
for the card. I'm going to start with the black piece. Now add the base. And finish it off with the sentiment. Yeah, I did that again where I put too much glue on it. And when you set this down, you pretty much want to set it down in a spot. You don't want to do a whole lot of moving around with it. Okay. So I'm going to grab my tweezers. Position it. And there you go. With love. Changing up the color scheme. Get a little bit different look. Hope you enjoyed this card tutorial.